Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars. And at the moment, I'm holding loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash BethRoars, where you guys can get some more exclusive content and get early access to my podcast, which has some really exciting guests. It's called Good Job. It's going to be on like Spotify, iTunes, all the usual places where people listen to podcasts, really. So do check it out. It opens opens I don't know it starts on the 3rd of June this is actually a request from one of my patrons Vargas hey Vargas thanks so much for this I don't know them is a Hungarian singer and I'm not up on my Hungarian singers so I'm quite excited about this one Ooh, a whole orchestra amazing I love orchestras. <laughs> and I love his photo. It's so pouty. I love it. I love to sing with an orchestra. I wish that would happen one day. I'm going to put it out to the universe. I'm on tenterhooks. When's he gonna sing? There's so much power in this intro, just like chilling on stage. Egy álmom, egy szörnyű látomás Most is érzem, századszor élem át So interesting. I love how he's using a lot of vocal fry. Ah, na, 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 na. It's very here. So vocal fry is the sound, like the grudge. Uh, some people call it creak. I like to call it creak. But some people are like, no, it's called vocal fry. Call it what you like. Uh... The grudge sound. I love how he's in that space. It's very Enrique Iglesias. Iglesias? I never know how to say his name. Also, it's really interesting how scoops can completely change the style. So if he's like, na 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 na, it's a bit jazzy. If you go underneath, na 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 na, if you go over the top, it's a bit more R and B pop. Or na 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 na. Hear the difference and how it has different styles attached to it. I love as he's a vibrato. Or not vibrato. És minden a sötétség borult Elti porti mák Megtört, megölt ölel és maradt csak nyomán His riffs are so slick. There's like, every single note can be heard and obviously I don't speak the language but the diction sounds pretty, pretty strong. Everything's just got complete clarity. There's nothing... There's nothing sliding about, you can hear everything with detail. Hey! hey. Uh. Oh, I like that distortion. It's quite rocky. It 
it's really interesting how he is using nuances, like this distortion, this kind of 80s style rock distortion that is so different than the whole vibe is kind of R&B and then he's got this distortion. I love this mix and I, I love the chords which sounds quite folky. He is singing just above his break but getting a lovely full belt like tone and he has the warmth of a baritone which is lovely. Often in R&B styles you're just used to hearing tenors all the time this kind of high light sound and it's kind of light yet warm so I'm loving that combination. Oh, interesting. I'm assuming those little runs come from Hungarian music rather than it's not the same scale as you'd use normally. It's not a pentatonic scale. So I love how he's kind of mixing between, I guess, Hungarian style. Again, I don't know enough about it. And R&B and rock. Cool. I mean, that's like a classic R&B riff. See? So weird, so interesting. Oh, beautiful falsetto. He has so much control. That flip up to there, it had that beautiful lightness that you get in R&B and that I was kind of saying earlier that you associate with R&B, like if you think of like Justin Timberlake, it's that kind of light sort of sound. I don't think Justin Timberlake's the best example. You know, maybe more someone like Usher or Chris Brown or um, R. Kelly, that sort of 90s vibe. That is kind of what you get, but then you get the warmth. Oh, so, so interesting. He's got super, like, good control and he's using all the tools in his toolbox. Ah, I love that scoop. Yeah, the scoop of the end. Ah! <laughs> I sounded like uh, a foghorn. Uh, it's not meant to be like that. He's got much better growl than I do. So painful sounding. As an emotionally painful, not on my ears. Sounds lovely on my ears. Oh, this is going everywhere. In terms of style. That was like choral. There's Baroque. There's gospel elements. There's symphonic metal elements. How is he making those riffs so slick, those little runs and riffs? Everyone kind of throws themselves into it. They're like, ah, blah, blah. and then it just comes out like a big old mess. The key to getting very slick riffs and runs like him is precision. So slow it down, get it precise, really slow and speed it up incrementally. If you're really interested in this, look at the Natalie Weiss YouTube videos. Hers are great. She breaks down some really difficult riffs and goes through them with you slowly so that you can learn how to do them at speed. Oh, so strong. Oh, 
that gives me tingles. So weird. I didn't expect it to go there with the orchestra. Wow. I'm kind of thinking about how he did that, that hey, 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 how he kind of scoops into it and it sounds like it's about to break, like it's, uh, like he's wailing and it gave me tingles like, again, I have no idea what it's about. I think war or something from the pictures behind, it had everything in it that, wow. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.